Hey, what's up, people? How's it going? Uh, I apologize, it's been a while, but yeah, we're uh, I'm in Skopje, North Macedonia, which we, we came to visit family here because we uh, wife is from here. Um, but yeah, we, we had to. Again, apologize for the for the for the. Uh, it's been a while that I've been on here, but we had, we had a, little, a little bit of medical stuff that we had to take care of. Thankfully, everything's okay. So it, while I, while I'm here, I thought I'd you know visit Skopje, North Macedonia this morning, or as the locals like to say, just Macedonia. <laughs> And you know, visit and show you what the what Skopje looks like. So yeah, come on along for the ride, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys, uh, ch check you guys out in the vid. Ciao. All right, this is uh, the city center of Macedonia, which you, which you saw in my little intro. So yeah, it's a pretty cool city center here. Um, close, right across from the the the, the river from uh, from the Turkish bazaar, which is over there. And um, yeah, as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, a whole lot of statues. This is the statue, of course, of, of Alexander the Great. They really looked at Alexander the Great. You know, this is, this is Macedonia, but Alexander the Great is uh, they, they they like to say he's one of their ancestors. I'm not sure about that, but but uh, yeah, they they all these statues are fairly new because there was a huge earthquake in 1963 that pretty much destroyed 80 percent of the of the city, and um, they 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 went through a whole bunch of. Uh, Build a whole bunch of new things, you know, like those buildings over there are new, and all the statues are new, and to 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 you know bring back some of the culture and stuff that was destroyed before the earthquake. So yeah, I guess it's also known as the city of statues. <clears throat> this here is called the Old Bridge, and I think this actually survived the earthquake, um, hence the name Old Bridge. But I'm not sure, and it has another name, but I forget what that name is. I just know I'm just I just know it as the Old Bridge. Um, that, that, that links um, the Turkish Bazaar to the uh, Skopje city center. There's more statues. And all those buildings too um, were around like before the, the, the Bulga when Bulgaria was here. But they were rebuilt, you know, like the Opera House and stuff like that, of course, after the earthquake. Because as I mentioned, a lot of stuff got destroyed. But yeah, it's really nice that a lot of the stuff they were able to, um, you know, rebuild, of course. And, and that's the Vardar River, which is, uh, the Skopje is, um, on the banks of the Vardar River, um, which and, and also I learned too, this settlement has been here for like a long time. Here is a better shot of the Alexander the Great statue, um, which is pretty cool. You know, you gotta love a dude on a horse, especially with the sword. <laughs> so, yeah. The other side of the old bridge, um, which is again, like I said, leading to the Turkish Bazaar. We 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 were, I went over there, did a, did a um, a video of the Turkish Bazaar before, so. Please check that out on my, my channel if you're interested. Um, so yeah, over here I'm just doing the, the, a video of the city center, um, which is on the western side, to the west of the Turkish Bazaar. Um, and of course across the Vardar River. Um, so yeah, Skopje is, is uh, got some cool stuff in it. And actually, as I mentioned earlier, has been here, well, I don't know if I, I no. Okay, this is the first time I'm mentioning it. <laughs> Skopje's been here for like a few thousand years. Not this, like all these buildings that have been here, but it's been like, inhabited for a few thousand years, um, which is awesome. So, and, and the original name of Skopje was Skupi. So yeah, when it was first back, back a few thousand years ago, I think the Paeonians, some, some people that were Thracians and stuff, and then the Paeonians kind of started living here first, and then the Dardanians, and then yeah, and then it, it's gone through several people since then, but yeah, a lot of history here. Yes, they have a Burger King in Skopje. In many countries, they have these arches, which is awesome. You know, like in France or in Paris, they have Arc de Triomphe. And they have, you know, one in Germany and so many other countries. And so does, uh, they also have one here in Skopje, North Macedonia. Another statue of some dude that I don't know who it is because I don't speak Macedonian, uh, Kyrillic. But <clears throat> he's obviously some kind of, you know, Pope dude. Because he's got the cross on his head and the cross staff. Uh, it's right next to a really good uh, 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 restaurant or tavern in, uh, in Skopje called Pelister. Such good food there. Amazing food. And of course, right next to, and here's in, in, in rela relation to where it is to the, to the uh, Alexander the Great statue in the, in the, the city center um, piazza. That's, that's Italian. But uh, this is another thing I love about Europe is they have these big squares you know, in, in, the, in a lot of the city centers. I love squares. So many cool things in the squares. Okay, that's enough. I'm not gonna say squares too much anymore. Okay, maybe, maybe one more time. I love squares, European squares. <laughs>
pretty cool. It's a museum slash memorial building, a memorial. Um, she might have even, uh, Mother Teresa, I think she might have even been born in this spot. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, she was born in Skopje. You know, I think back in 1912 or something, but she lived most of her life in India, but yeah, she was born here in Skopje, which I did not know until I came here. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, Mother Teresa. There's a little statue of her over there. And uh, she, of course, they put her right next to a church. Cool stuff, man. Great history. Probably like in every European country, there, there, there's a cafe. And uh, they're, they're just like I many European countries are cafes, same with Skopje. It's super, cafes are super popular here. There's another one right over here. Um, but yeah, coffee is, is their, their, one of their major pastimes to just chill, have a coffee. It's, it's a, a, what do you call it, um, a tr an event, a tradition, uh, a, a thing <laughs> to, to have coffee, you know, with your, with, your, with your family member, with your friend, whatever. And of course, the coffee is Turkish usually. <laughs> There's some uh, views of the, the architecture in the city center, which I really love. Sometimes a lot of uh, the buildings in the city center are old. And I think a lot of these actually survived the 1963 earthquake, um, which is awesome. And the whole thing, that the whole city is still here is awesome because it's been through a ton of, of earthquakes, you know, over the few thousand years. I guess it was over a few thousand years, so it wasn't too much. But yeah, there's been about five earthquakes that totally leveled this, this city before. And many peoples. I mean, it's been in, in like I said, D D Dardanian hands, uh, Roman hands. It's been ruled by Serbia. It was one of the Serbian capital. Uh, yeah, Skupi. Um, I forgot what they call it in the Roman times. Uh, I think it was under Serbian rule twice, I think. Bulgarians, been under Bulgarian twice. Um, of course, you know, the Ottomans were here for like 520 years. They, they came in 1389, I think. 1380 something and stayed and they called it Uskum. So it's been through a couple different names, a few different name changes and a bunch of different peoples and and they're still here. Of course now it's it's you know they're they're here from when they for former Yugoslavia and started their own Republic of Macedonia after after uh, World War Two? Yeah after World War Two. And um but even that, during that time, during the World War Two the Bulgarians came and, and seized it for a little while but then back to the you know the Macedonians. So this has been a lot of uh a lot of history here, a lot of a lot of cool history, and so this this kind of, there's definitely t strong people here to survive all that, all those different uh, people coming in and taking over, but they took it back. Now they're 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 here, uh, you know, doing their own thing. Name change, North Macedonia, and uh, yeah, living life. Statue, and I think I'm guessing it's a king, because he has a crown. He looks all kingly on a throne, so that's probably a king. I don't know who that is, because again, I don't read Macedonian. But behind the king, across the, the river, and next to that over bridge right over there, on the other side of that bridge, is, I think, um, the, the public, the, the city courthouse. Uh, and that's where my wife and I got, got hitched. Yeah, right over there, so that's cool. On the other side of that was the, ch the church. They, they, you have to do two ceremonies here. Like, you have to get married, like, on the state, you know. So, and, then, and then, you can stop it there, but usually people go to the next level and they go to the church. So, yeah, you, 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 but, the, but the church don't count. If you just got married in the church, it doesn't count according legally. So you got to do it in the, in the church, uh, in the state, in the, in the courthouse. And then the other side of that, where you see the, the, um, the Macedonian flag over there, is the, you can barely see it, though. But, but at the base of the flag, it's, it's on the, uh, the Calais Fortress, which, as I was mentioning earlier, when it was taken over by the, by the Ottomans, that was an old Ottoman fort, the Calais Fortress. You could see that on the other side of that, you know, city courthouse building there and of course next to the Vardar that's how you say it correctly pronounce it correctly in a uh, in Macedonia I'm learning I'm getting better in my you know my language is here cool horse statue of a man that was alive from 1871 to 1906 uh, I would tell you who it is because his name's listed in there but again I don't know how to read Macedonian this or Cyrillic this is in Cyrillic if it was in Latin I'd, I'd do better but um, yeah a lot of a lot of cool statues of a lot of their uh, historical, um, famous historical figures. There up in the distance to the left, or I guess it would be to his right, of the Alexander the Great statue, you could see a mountain, you know, in, in behind the city with a cross on top. That is Vodno, and which is a famous mountain. It's cool, it's got the cross on top. I think the cross even lights up at night. But yeah, that's a famous place to go. It's beautiful up there. Maybe I'll have to do a, a vid video from up there sometime. 
Um, my sister in law loves to go up there. <laughs> so it's a really cool place. You can overlook the beautiful view of the whole city. But yeah, that, that's Bodno. I had to include that in the, in the uh, video because it's a pretty important place. A little better shot of the Calais Fortress. Sometimes I gotta do video over there too. It's a pretty cool place. But yeah, this sucker's like over, gosh, it's, it's over 300 or 400 years old. That's some history. I think it's one of the only things besides Turkish Star that, that, that survived the earthquake. Really cool, fake, uh, old ship <laughs> that they built. I think it's a, a, a restaurant or a tavern, as they say here. Um, I haven't been on there yet. I need to go sometime. It looks fun. But yeah, it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. You know, they built in the river Vardar and across from all the cool, I don't know, old, uh, new old buildings. They replaced the old buildings and cool new bridge. And this bridge has a name too because it's got a bunch of, it has a bunch of statues of you know historical figures i'd imagine that's probably like maybe this is like the law building or whatever i don't know but but one of these is is um the opera a new opera house but yeah you know a lot of cool architecture extra make it look old like this has some like greek columns on there and stuff so i love the that that choice in it in the bridge here nice nice all on a beautiful sunday sun, spring day uh in, in the city center I thought I'd show you a view from one of the bridges, you know, so beautiful, beautiful place, old bridge, the old bridge, city center square. That's it uh, for this, uh, this episode of, you know, the city center of Skopje, North Macedonia. I hope all y'all enjoyed it and, you know, um, again, I'm happy to be back, you know, from, and film me again and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be filming uh, some more stuff pretty soon, showing you all cool stuff maybe of Skopje um, and of course the rest of Europe so anyways all y'all have a great week uh, happy springtime and uh, catch you in the next bit ciao